Hi everybody, so today I'm going to teach you about how to make world in Kodu Game Lab. You can click new world to create the new world. So now what we are going to do here, it's very simple and entertaining at the same time. For me, I like to create something, so this is a very fun thing to do. First, this is not enough for me. Definitely, I need to expand. How to expand it? There is a tool here, the paintbrush. You can expand it with two different shapes. So over here, as you can see, it's a square. And then if you click this, it's going to be circle. But sometimes it's going to get pixelated because this is how the interface of this game. So I'm going to take square. And if I click it this way, it's going to expand it. Okay, if you want to set from top view, you can go to this tool and hold your space button, right click, and then you can rotate it. Oh yeah, if you play with this game, make sure that you are using mouse. It's going to feel way better. So with this top view, I'm going to expand it more. You can see a lot of different floor that you can choose. You can use your arrow right and left to choose whatever pattern you want. And I will choose this number 29. This is one of my favorite. And when I expand, it's going to be a different pattern. Okay, now let's say I want to have different shape. You can choose escape just to, to go back. So if I choose this one and I want it to be around. Can you see the difference? But I don't really like it, so I can undo. I will stick with my square look. And you can change the size as well by clicking the arrow. And not clicking, pressing the arrow to the left or to the right. If left is smaller, right is and right is bigger. Get a little bit spiky. So always pay attention on your left because you can see uh, the explanation like uh, make spiky if you click left and make it hilly if you click right. So I want to make it spiky. And this is to make it to raise I want to undo it if you click right it's to lower it so if you want to undo this this is the right one I'm going to make it okay I want to flatten now you can add water as well you can choose the color of the water which is act which is pretty interesting you can have black water silver water gold water so i'm going to choose gold if you click it once it's level one if you click it again it's going to race and so on and this is all using left click if you want to lower the door, just right click. Okay, I'm just going to make level 1. And I'm going to make something in the middle race. You can choose the shape as well, like what we did last time. After that, you can decorate it with the object. Just click here, and there is a lot of choice for you. Like, you can decorate it with rocks. Pipes and trees. Okay, I will choose trees. 
see it's a way too big so what I'm going to do I'm going to click this click right and there is change type make it smaller okay perfect you can uh, press space to rotate your view as well and the interesting part is you can change the color whatever color you want and I will stick to green this time you can copy the exact same thing and paste it some paste it something else and if it's too low you can rise up it see it's actually like floating but when you want to lower it down you just click the three again say click right and then change height and you can like control the height of the trees itself so in this way you can make your object floating I'm going to put it okay this is too much okay it's it's kind of floating just going to put it here then and i'm going to adjust the height Okay, so let's say I want to change the color and make this one, click it again, make this one blue. And I can add something else as well. Just click right, add object. Now I'm going to add a moving object. For example, the octopus. And I'm going to change it into red. And I'm going to put some more character. Um, now, Kodu. I'm going to put rocks to decorate. Hmm. Iceberg. Look at here. Change this one to change a little bit to okay, cool. So when it glows, you are choosing the right thing that you want to choose. Okay, I think you can explore something else. Like if you want to put like a sea grass, it's going to be interesting as well. Maybe here, and you can change color of everything. Smaller, so you can adjust with your own world like how big things you that you want. You will know the function of each of this later on when we when we go to programming. For so for now, it, it's more like decoration. So when you play, there are actually still but if you do something like a simple programming let's say you click them right click and program and then you click do move Very interesting. You can zoom and see the movement. For now, it's like just going everywhere, but later on, you will you will know the function. Okay, you can change the setting. When you change the setting. You can see like 
let's say you want to change the sky to some other color like this and then like the lighting is going to be like dark or bright or mars you can choose to set the environment that you are looking for so yeah i don't i don't really like darkness so i will just go to a normal mode which is day and just normal sky this is really depends on your preference yeah, I prefer this way. So, this is my tutorial, and you can save it by clicking this button. Save my world. You can change your tutorial, and you can change your uh, you can share your world as well to other people in the Kodo website. Safe and you go. You can load it, go to my world, and as you can see, this is my previous trial. We can play. So, this is the world that I created just now. As you can see, I put a lot of objects. When there's too much of object, there will be like a kind of thermometer here to tell you that this is already too much and they cannot contain anymore. So this is a, a way bigger world like what we made just now. So you can explore it and I hope that you have fun with this and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!